We were actually told that Cairo Airport can be a little overwhelming, a little hard to navigate, so we wanted to ease any fears you might have and show you our experience transferring from an international flight to a domestic flight within the same terminal of Cairo Airport, and also give you an overview of what the airport looks and feels like. And as you will see, we really didn't have any issues, and it was quite easy. So I hope this helps you when you arrive into Cairo. Although we're not leaving the airport, we do still need to get our visa and entry for Egypt. I had actually been told the currency exchange booth or bank where you buy your entry visa the lines can be very long so to make things much easier I pre-bought our visas and this guy was waiting for us with those visas right outside the area that you yeah. enter for okay. domestic okay. departure hey. Hi. Hi. can you give me your passport please oh yes yeah. I mean, I don't know if it gets easier. He checked our boarding passes, he checked our passport and then applied the visa to our passport we were on our way Next step, clear immigration. Just, you have to cross here the immigration. You're okay. gonna give you the confirmation. I'm going direct, directly to your gate. Okay, gotcha. We were in Cairo Airport and we got off our plane, we had our guy waiting, he had our visas for us, it's a visa fast track and that actually really helped the process very quickly. And uh, now we are downstairs at G29, ready Waiting to on a rent. crazy line, right? we're assuming it's for our plane, but <laughs> again it's more of Egypt there's communication skills. Yeah, they don't really tell you anything yeah. and yeah. it's flight 621 to Aswan. Yeah. Flight 621 to Aswan from Cairo, and it is a what kind of plane? We're again on the 737 800, not a max. Awesome. So another oldie but goodie. Yeah. And not quite is, as old as the other one. Yeah. It's the same old seats, though we do have tray tables on this one. Well, you but you should show them the leg room. Oh, yes. Okay. Leg room. It's only rubbing against it till she decides to recline. <laughs> I have a little more, but not a lot of leg room. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so that's what we got. Short sure, flight. Yeah. yeah. Where are we? We're in seats. Which ones? Economy seats. Ooh, <laughs> not liking it. 30A and 30B economy seats. Yes. Yeah. No extra leg room. No even extra. For the not even. Extra. Yeah, not even for the yeah. uh, emergency row. Yeah, and this straight up economy. Little, little tiny. Yeah. Like old school seats, you can tell. Like I think I remember these from like 1980. No, I think we're 1995. <laughs> okay. From, yeah, when they bought the plane, they kept it as it was and yeah. refurbished the seats. Is what I'm going with. Yeah. Yeah. That's about it. Anyways, okay, so that's what we got. But also, one of the nice things, if you're gonna travel in Africa on mm -hmm. the cheap airline, they people don't bring a lot of carry-ons. Like in, in the states and popular places, we're always like rushing to get space for all our carry-ons because yes. we don't have the camera, camera equipment, so we have extra bags. Here, it's like there's not a lot, lots yeah. of them. There would Plenty not room. be and not be like a stitch of empty space in an open, American flight. No. Yeah, when yeah. we got on the plane, so nope. that is yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. And this flight from Cairo to Aswan is about an hour. The flight from Amman to Cairo was an hour and 40 minutes. So they're both very, um, like, short flights. And I'm pretty good. You can even ask her. Like, I, I could sleep on the floor somewhere and not, like, really complain about it. Those seats were the worst ever. They were the I worst mean, ever. I mean, my ass was falling asleep. My neck was jacked. It was definitely not. Yeah. Not 
really bad. No, they were yeah. definitely very uncomfortable yeah. seats for Avoided. sure. It's your only option. Do it. Yeah. To get somewhere. It's not gonna ruin my trip. Right, but it's Just definitely an not hour and a half a, in the plane. Not an airline I would choose again. Okay. Yeah, peace out. Bye. Correction. It is one hour and twenty-five minutes from Cairo to Aswan. We'll still survive it. Yeah. <laughs> We spent the day traveling from the Middle East to Africa today, which is pretty cool. Welcome to Aswan, Africa. So when your bags don't arrive on the domestic carousel, even though you think you've come on a domestic flight, you need to go to the international arrivals, and then they are waiting for you. We hope that you've enjoyed our videos. And don't forget to subscribe and click the link below to get regular updates.